Hi, everyone. Welcome to the hybrid GESI Global Development and Action Program information session for summer 2022. My name is Norvell Watts, and I'm a program manager in the Global Learning Office, commonly known as GLOW. My colleague Miranda Goosby and I manage the GESI program along with Patrick Eccles, Senior Associate Director, and Dr. Diego Arispe Bazan, an assistant professor of instruction and anthropology, who also teaches in the GLOW GESI program. Through this information session, we will give you an overview of GESI, talk about the structure of the program in a little more detail. We'll also cover how to apply, and then we'll let you know who to contact if you have more questions. So let's jump right in with an overview of the program. What is GESI? GESI is an acronym for the Global Engagement Studies Institute. It's a global engagement program that combines academic coursework with professional experience through an international internship. The combination of academic work and hands-on experience allows students to analyze community-based approaches to international development. GESI as a program has strong student-driven origins and philosophical roots in the asset-based community development institute. So a focus on the on community in the context of development has always been foundational to the GESI program. GESI is a study abroad program, but due to COVID-19, we've adapted to a hybrid environment with opportunities for both in-person and virtual internships. The program will build upon a tradition of hands-on, critical, community-based global learning and is facilitated by long-term international partnerships. GESI is one program, but we work with partners in many different locations around the world. As a participant in GESI in summer 2022, you have the option of completing an internship with a grassroots organization in one of nine countries, Costa Rica, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia or Argentina, Ghana, Uganda, India or Vietnam. You'll find an expanded number of program locations and internship opportunities through the hybrid iteration of the program, all listed on the GESI 2022 website. One quick note here, while you'll rank your location preferences, students are ultimately assigned to an internship location. We'll get more into that later. We currently hope to offer four options for in-person internships in Argentina, Bolivia, Costa Rica, and Vietnam subject to university approval for return to travel in these locations. All other locations will take part in remote internships in a virtual program framework. Here are some other characteristics about GESI that make the program so unique. The program is a really powerful blend of intellectual inquiry and exper experiential learning. You're learning about development in class and interning with an organization doing development work simultaneously over nine to ten weeks. Like I mentioned earlier, GESI is community-based. It's people-centric and relationship-focused. The program involves a variety of opportunities for collaborative learning and virtual community engagement. Now an important point here is because students by design will be learning while doing, and because of the people-focused nature of the work, GESI requires a strong work ethic, humility, and willingness to collaborate. Ultimately, the GESI experience is unique to every person. Everyone has different goals and motivations to participate in GESI, and every cohort and student will have their own takeaways. And as a means to illustrate this last point, I wanted to share with you some testimonials of students who participated in GESI in the fall of 2020. Cindy says, GESI gave me the opportunity to work, to connect the work I was doing hands-on with the theory and history behind development while deepening my understanding of cultural humility, ethical storytelling, and the complexities of NGOs. Sebastian says, virtual GESI is a great window into the global sphere of NGOs and a great way to learn about through firsthand involvement, another nation from your own home. And Stella shared with us, this class challenged me to grow as a student and person more than any class I've taken at four years 
in four years at Northwestern. If you're considering a career in the development or nonprofit world, there's truly no class that will better prepare you for your career. This class and internship deeply altered my understanding of what it means to work in development, how and whom we can truly serve, and the ethical and theoretical dimensions and history of the world of humanitarianism. That is some high praise. <laughs> and I think it's clear that the GESI program offers students the opportunities for truly meaningful, impactful experiences. So now let's move on to some more detailed information about the structure of the program. This summer, the GESI program will take place during Northwestern's 10 week summer session beginning June 13th and ending August 26th. All students will start in the classroom together at Northwestern and participate in the same pre-departure seminar over six days from June 13th through the 18th. This will include lectures, small group discussions and activities, language classes, history and culture sessions, along with other practical orientation relevant to the internship or field-based component of the program. On Sunday, June 19th, all students will depart from Northwestern and on Monday, June 20th, in-country and remote internships will begin, usually with a period of onboarding and orientation. As the program concludes, Students will participate in a three-day re-entry program we call the Final Reflection Summit from August 24th through the 26th, which will be held virtually on Zoom. There are three mandatory components to hybrid GESI experience. First, all students are enrolled in the same 10-week course co-taught by Northwestern faculty. Second is the internship experience. And third, the internship is complemented by a series of practical workshops. These could include cultures, culture sessions, language training, group meetups, project management check-in, and the, uh, this additional help uh, will help students contextualize your work in the local community development setting. All students in GESI will be enrolled in International Studies 393, Development in a Global Context. This variable credit field studies course has a focus on theories, history, trends, and controversies in international development. There's also an emphasis on group-based peer-to-peer learning through a flipped classroom model. So you can expect to participate in small group discussion, simulations, role plays, and other class activities. The idea is that you'll be exposed to some of the decision-making dilemmas often encountered in development and community organization contexts. Something we really wanna emphasize is that participation in the class is key. Students will be assessed on their participation in lectures and online discussion forum, group work, written work, and also performance in their internships. This isn't a passive experience, and I think the full active engagement of participants is what makes the program so powerful. For students completing a virtual internship, you will receive two credits for participating in the field studies course, along with a 15 hour per week individual or group virtual internship with a community-based organization. Here's the rough estimate for how these work hours uh, are broken down. Roughly 10 to 12 hours would be dedicated to project research or advocacy-based work. This would involve group meetings and check-ins with your supervisor, as well as independent work time. Then depending on the location, you'll participate in two to five hours of practical workshops. Typically, the initial weeks of the virtual internship will involve onboarding and practical orientation that helps to situate you in the local context and organizational setting that you'll be working in. Later workshops might include things like guest lectures, group reflection, cultural sessions, or language training. Exact Days and times are TBD for these workshops and will also vary by location. This is based on individual schedules, time zone differences, technology considerations, and other factors. Then students going abroad to participate in in-person internships uh, will receive three credits for participating in the field studies course, 
along with a 30 hour per week internship, usually in small interdisciplinary teams of three to five students with a community based organization. Students will either live in homestays and fully vaccinated households or some alternative culturally immersive housing arrangement. Similar to the virtual internship framework, a series of practical workshops will be organized on site, which might include guest lectures, group reflection, cultural sessions, or language training. Again, opportunities to participate in the program on site are still subject to university approval. We expect to have approval decisions for the four locations that are being reviewed for return to travel Argentina, Bolivia, Costa Rica, and Vietnam sometime in March. And finally, let's move on on how to apply to GESI for summer 2022. GESI is open to students in all majors and minors on the Evanston campus. Students are eligible after completing one year of study at Northwestern, so as soon as the summer after your first year. For many Latin American locations, one year of college level Spanish or the equivalent is required. So essentially, many of the Latin American internships require conversational Spanish language ability. However, there are a couple locations in Latin America that offer English language internship opportunities. So just check the GESI page of the GLOW website for those details. Finally, be sure to discuss your plans to do GESI with your academic advisor. A note about financial aid here. If you receive financial aid during the academic year, financial aid can also apply to summer. One popular study abroad scholarship opportunity open to Pell granted students is the Benjamin A. Gilman Scholarship. The Gilman Scholarship will also apply to virtual programs through summer 2022. Feel free to contact Krista Bethel or Kristen Butnick in the financial aid office if you want to talk through your options. They're the financial aid advisors who work with all of our study abroad students, and they're super knowledgeable and great resources in the process. You're also able to request a summer aid estimate via email. Just send a message to undergradaid at u.northwestern.edu. Just please be sure to plan ahead. It's not too soon to start thinking about summer financial aid. The application for GESI is online in the Global Gateway, which is the same portal that GLOW uses for all of our study abroad programs. The application is now open and the deadline for summer GESI 2022 is February 10th. And you can find the link to the application on the GLOW website. The application includes some short answer questions, and if you're applying for a Spanish-speaking internship, then you'll respond to a couple of those in Spanish. You'll need to attach your resume and your transcript, and you'll also need to rank your top three preferred locations. When you're narrowing down your location preference, here are some things to think about. Generally, the first thing is language ability. If you are conversational in Spanish, then you could do any of the locations. But if not, then you want to focus on the locations that offer internships in English. Geographic region or specific country can also be an interest factor for students. Area of work and partner organization could also play into your preferences. Our partner organizations abroad all have different areas of focus and different approaches to development. Each organization works in particular section, sectors, such as education, human rights, the environment, microfinance, or public health. So one of those might jump out at you. All this information and the scope of potential projects at the internship are listed on the program website. So be sure to check that out. At the end of the day, remember that you'll ultimately be placed in a program location. So if you, you're having trouble deciding on preference or figuring out which place would be the best fit for you, it's totally okay to be open to any location. You have the option to indicate that flexibility in your application, and then GESI staff and partner organizations can figure out where your interests can be best served and how your skills can be put to best use. And finally, please spread the word about GESI for this summer. We know that so many opportunities have been canceled or postponed due to the pandemic. 
Physical study abroad has been canceled for two summers in a row now. So we want as many students as possible to know about and have access to this program. Hopefully you've learned more about the GESI program. If you have any questions or want to discuss the program more, please email the GESI team at GESI at northwestern.edu. Thanks for watching and we look forward to working with you.